lot of good staffs before championship caliber teams. How, how tough do you think it is for opponents when they try to prepare, knowing that you're going to see five really good pitchers and they're all very distinctly different? Yeah, it's well, it's nice to be on a staff like this. And I mean, I can tell you firsthand, usually, usually it, it kind of trickles down from the top, the coaching staff, the opposing coaching staff, I think kind of gets a little nervous as well. And you see a lot more meetings and, and trying to break down different guys, but essentially it's, hey, go play ball because guy might be 10 and 0 with a sub one ERA and you might win two nothing or you might win one nothing. So um, I've seen that before. I've seen players kind of press when they know a dude that they haven't had success on is is looming the next day or the or the getaway day. So it's like, hey, I got to swing early on this guy to get a base hit because I'm going to go oh for the next seven um, the following two nights. But I'm glad to be a, a, a I'm glad to be a part of the other side where it's we're running out some we're running out some horses and uh, it's it's been very fun to watch that and. And I know the other side is is thinking what I first said is, man, we're going to have a hard time with game one, game two, and game three. So maybe let's pocket somebody in the bullpen where we can try to get a hit. But then again, we have a really, really good bullpen. So it's one of those things where the the confidence is is definitely in our corner. And I think it doesn't really doesn't really linger with any one of our starters each and every night. Jesse? Dallas, you mentioned the tough stretches that you're, you'll be playing. Is that something you experienced maybe in Houston? You got to have some battle scars, you know, win, lose, or draw as you head towards October, especially for maybe a team that hasn't been there three, four years in a row. Yeah, I, I, I just think one of the one of the main one of the main keys in the in a in a six month season is you're going to have up and downs no matter what. You might you might lose seven in a row and lose by one run where each of the five starters or a whole turn, two turns of the starting staff is going to throw up quality starts, but you're still going to lose. Just That's just how baseball works. I mean, we're playing 162. That stuff happens, but it, it's, it's games where you should win, that you need to win and kind of pile up the wins right now because, like I said, that, that August stretch is going to be a dogfight. Not only is it going to be the dog days of summer, it's we're playing – as of right now, that that schedule is a lot of first place teams or people and teams in contention for playoffs. So, I myself would like to pile up some more win, more team wins to to make sure we have a little bit of a cushion. If you know, if we go 500 in August, we're still looking pretty. Uh, by the way, I'm curious if you um, got wind of uh, Tyler Glasnow's little rant there, and I'm wondering if if that's another layer to this sticky story. Um, are, are pitchers worried about their health? Um, that was something that kind of popped up today. Yeah, I briefly heard it. Actually, I, I, the, I first heard it when I came out of the game. It kind of was a, a tidbit, I think, on the on the radio. Um, I mean, to each their own. So I've never, I mean, I probably dabble. I think I dabble with sunscreen and rosin back when I was in AAA trying to figure out who I was and what I wanted to do with my career. But probably in my eight plus nine plus service years in the big leagues, I, I can't think of one time where I've, I've used sticky. So that's just myself. Um, I, I don't, I don't condone using any tack or anything like that. I mean, there's guys in the box that put the pine tar up farther than they should. And I mean, it's just a part of the game. I, in, in, in my opinion, I think the, I think the one point that he, that he does make is I, I, I thought this should have been a topic in the off season. It's, it's very tough mentally um, to get yourself in a position to, to just go without anything. I mean, it's just like, you're completely naked. I mean, it'd be like me going out on the mound and just pitching with no clothes on. I mean, it's just something that, I mean, that's the best I got. It's just something that's not very comfortable. And um, I mean, I understand the batting averages are down, but, I look up the power numbers are still there so that's a that's a very scary problem for for pitchers but I mean like I said to each their own last two questions Lamont 
you know, as you mentioned going on back to Houston, just any early thoughts about the returning to where it began for you? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a little weird. I, like I said um, yesterday, I think it was, I was sharing some thoughts. Uh, it was a place I never thought I was going to leave. So that reality, that was reality. So, um, and, and like I said, I mean, I still have a lot of, a lot of former teammates. I have some big time admiration for, and, and those guys are super talented. I, I mean, they're, they're hands down right now, the best lineup in the American league, I, in, in my opinion. Um, I think if they had a, a little bit more stable pitching staff, I think they would be a, a force to reckon with and who knows I mean I'm sure they will they know how to win so it'll be it'll be fun I mean it'll be competitive I know those guys they know me they know how much of a competitor I am um and we always had conversations throughout the course of my tenure there that you know if somebody were to leave it would be a it would be a healthy banter back and forth but that crowd, that city was was really into the Astros, so it's going to be a, a hostile environment for us, and um, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, seeing some of those guys is going to be fun, but it'll be a little nerve wracking, I'm sure, on Sunday when I take the mound for the first time. Uh, like I said yesterday, I was just hoping to to make sure I go out to the right bullpen because I'm so used to so used to going to the right right center bullpen. Last question, James. Just you, you mentioned kind of feeling your your flow and as, as June starts, uh, have you seen that kind of um, also kind of take place in the bullpen where you know some guys endured some rough starts, but you know as you see Aaron Bummer uh, looking uh, like it, like himself uh, at this point? Yeah, I'd like to think so. I mean, the bullpen is is the hardest job in the game by far. I mean, you got to come in and be lights out from pitch one. Like I mean, I've probably mentioned that numerous times before. So I never really worry too much about the bullpen. Um, that's out of my realm. I have been the bullpen in my big league career, and, and I can tell you, it's not it's not very fun. It's uh, very nerve wracking, and and um, you know I have a lot of respect for those guys. I mean, they're pretty much each of our bullpen guys is blowing ninety four plus. A couple guys have some pretty good sync. A lot of guys have some good rides. So um, that's something that I can't really speak for. But the consistency, seeing Bummer come out and throw three pretty much off speed pitches for for strikes, I mean, I think he's kind of getting dialed in, and that's uh, that's kind of a pretty scary feeling for if you're the opposing opposing teams.